Hi guys! Um, it's been a long time since I did a haul video. Uh, I've, I've still bought wax, so I just haven't had a chance to make any videos lately. But I have three videos to do tonight, so might as well get started. Um, first up, it's Vintage Chic Scents by Kirby. Um, I got this order from her grand opening. Uh, I want to say, l not last week, the week after, I guess. Or excuse me, the week before. Um, she's brand new vendor. She's been in the wax world for a while now. So she decided to start her own company and I love everything. So I wasn't able to get much. I did go through and make a wish list beforehand. And then when I saw when my phone was going nuts from notifications on Facebook, I was like, oh crap, she's open. So I went through and just grabbed whatever I could. Um, I have I won't let myself melt anything until I do the video so that's basically the reason why I'm doing the video now because I want to start melting so all right first up um, my samples so I don't know if I can do this one handed so these are her flower tarts Pretty good sized and this one's in oh gosh, it smells good. rosemary's baby and I actually purposely didn't order this one because I did not think I'd like it I'm not a herbally clean kind of person I love this Ugh. it's got like a mint in it but it's not like super strong um, and today she opened again and I was able to snag a bunch more and I did get more of this because I love it. That's one of my samples. This one is, what are you, happy birthday Mr. President. And this one's oh, flowers, I mean it's the same size, there's just a little bit more wax in it. And this is a super good bakery scent. I think there's pomegranate in it. It smells like pomegranate to me. Maybe it's not a bakery scent. I don't know, it's very fruity and yummy. Okay, so then I got scent shots and these are my scent shots. This one is June Cleaver. This is a bakery scent. I don't know if you can see how pretty these are. It's got all shininess to it. This one is, we'll always have Paris. And these things are so full. This is a very, I want to say melon. I think it's a melon scent. So these aren't the normal like scent shot size. I know I have a scent shot, hold on just do it for comparison so like this is the average scent shot you can see there's there's a little bit of a size difference I think in width wise they're just about the same so this is like 1.6 ounces and I think this is about one ounce but these suckers are so full like they're so full. The lids have a heck of a time staying on and they don't stack, but that's just because they're poured so full. I'm not going to complain about that. So yeah, we always have pears. This one is Betty Crocker. Very shiny. It's got these little pretty beads on there. I think this is like a zucchini bread, maybe. I feel pretty. And this one's got, these little beads are so pretty. I'm not sure if they're beads or like a sprinkle. Oh, that one's good. That's a pink sugar. This one is White Christmas. Oh, I love this one. It's all shiny. 
Ooh, look at that. Oh, I think it's pepper. I think it's peppermint and vanilla bean Noel. I'm getting all the sparklies on the bed. This one is the Beverly Hills Hotel. So shiny. Mmm. I think this is maybe pomegranate and strawberry. And if you can see, they're like two toned. How pretty is that? The Plaza Hotel. So it's two different hotels. And this is like a green spa scent. Baby, it's cold outside. That one's so pretty. And oh god, this smells like a sexy man. Mmm. I need to take that to my boyfriend's house. His smell smell like stinky man. Mmm. That smells good. He smells like a sexy man, but his house doesn't. This one is. Oh yes. <laughs> this one has issues. So this is Gentleman Prefer Blondes and I was smelling it. It is my favorite out of the entire bunch. It is amazing. Like it is so, so good. And I was telling my sister how much I love this. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And remember I told you how full they were? I was gesturing with the scent shot and telling her, oh my gosh, you gotta smell this, it's so good. Well, the lid popped off. And the entire thing fell in my cup of coffee. No kidding. That's why this label is all wrinkly and very difficult to read. Gosh, I keep hitting shadows. And I scream, oh my God, wax down. And she's just freaking out. I, of course, plop it out of my coffee and go rinse it off. But of course, it had to be the one that is my absolute favorite. All right. And lastly, we have Princess of Monaco. I'm actually not sure why, what that's from. Oh, this is lemon and marshmallow, maybe? It's good. I love it. So this is my vintage she call. I will have another one probably next week or the week after.